Hi Explore, I hope you're all well. Okay, I'm ready for the next part uh, of the Easter story. We're carrying on with Jesus' story. Okay, now who can remember where we're up to? What have we had so far? We've already had two and we've got one more today. Okay, so the first one was Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey, wasn't it? And last week we looked at Jesus' death on the cross and how it was an unexpected rescue, okay? Because Jesus on the di- uh, dying on the cross was to rescue us from sin so that we could be friends with God. That's what we looked at last week, how it was an unexpected rescue, but an amazing rescue. So now Jesus' body has been taken to a tomb and buried in a tomb and is being guarded by soldiers so that people don't steal it, claiming that he has been raised to life. Now, for lots of people at that time, they thought, right, well, this is the end of Jesus. This is it for Jesus. He's dead. Nothing else is going to happen now. We have to move on with our lives. Everyone was really sad, but they they just thought that was it. But I don't know if you've ever had this experience with a film or a book where you think you've got to the end and then you turn over a page or you watch the next scene. And it's not the end, there's a totally new bit in the story or the film or the programme that you weren't expecting. It's not the end. And that's what uh, we are going to be looking at today, about how Jesus' death wasn't the end, okay, and something really exciting happened. Okay, so let's listen to the next part of the story. At dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and some other women went to Jesus' tomb to put some spices on his body. At that time, there was a strong earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven. The angel went to the tomb and rolled the stone away from the entrance. Then he sat on the stone. He was shining as bright as lightning. His clothes were as white as snow. The soldiers guarding the tomb were very frightened of the angel. They shook with fear and fell to the ground. The angel said to the woman, Don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, the one who was killed on the cross. But he is not here. He has risen from the dead as he said he would. Come and see the place where his body was, and go quickly and tell his followers. Say to them, Jesus has risen from the dead. He is going into Galilee. He will be there before you. You will see him there. The women left the tomb quickly. They were afraid, but also very excited. They ran to tell Jesus' followers what had happened. But suddenly Jesus met them on the way and said greetings. The women came up to Jesus, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers and go on into Galilee. They will see me there. The women left and told all these things to his followers. The women told um, them of everything that had happened to them at the tomb. But they did not believe the women. Peter and another follower started for the tomb. They were both running, but the other follower ran faster than Peter. The other follower reached the tomb first, bent down and looked in. He saw the strips of linen cloth lying there, but he did not go in. Then Peter came. He went into the tomb and saw the strips of linen lying there. He also saw the cloth that had been round Jesus' head. The cloth was folded up and laid in a different place from the strips of linen. Then the other follower, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. He saw and believed that Jesus was alive. Well, we've just heard about the next part of the story, about how Jesus doesn't stay dead. He comes alive again, doesn't he? And that's an amazing part of the story. An amazing part of the story. I have never heard of anything or anyone coming back to life. And we're going to look at that uh, tonight. So I want us to see three things today, okay? The first one, Jesus really did die, okay? So for Jesus to have come back to life, he needs to have really died, hasn't he? Okay, because some people said that he wasn't dead. He was just he was just sleeping or he was just un- um, unconscious. He was just really badly injured, but he didn't actually die. But who can tell me how long Jesus was in the tomb for? Three days. No one can survive that long. Jesus was definitely dead. 
the soldiers knew it, they knew that Jesus was definitely dead because they'd done this a lot. They'd done lots of crucifixions and they were experts at this. They knew that he was definitely dead. So there's no way that it could have been lied about or or um, it could have been f- uh, made false that people were saying that Jesus uh, was dead. Um, Jesus truly did die. Okay, so for Jesus to raise to be raised to life, he needs to really for Jesus to be raised to life, he needs to truly die. Okay, but he was dead for three days, so he was definitely dead. And we hear lots of people who saw Jesus die, lots of eyewitnesses in the Bible that Jesus did die. Okay, so that's the first one. Jesus really did die. And the second one is Jesus really did rise again. Okay, because lots of people will say, oh, well, his followers just said that he rose again um, so that they could carry on and, and say that he's an amazing hero. But but he didn't really uh, come back from the dead because no one could come back from the dead. But we know different, don't we? Because not only did Jesus' body disappear, but Jesus appeared. He appeared to his followers. He appeared to lots of different people. In the Bible, it tells us he appeared to 500 different people when he'd raised, come back to life, when he was raised to life. That's amazing, isn't it? No one can make that up. If you had 500 people telling you that Jesus was alive, you couldn't not believe them, could you? So Jesus truly was raised from the dead. Okay, and is alive now. Okay, because some people uh, might say, well, he might have come back to life, but then he had to die again because he was human. Everyone dies. But we hear later in the Bible that Jesus went up to heaven in front of all his friends, in front of all his disciples. He didn't die again. He was taken up to heaven by God and is still alive now. So Jesus truly was raised to life and is alive now and thirdly jesus will truly come again so jesus promised okay that he would come back uh, and rescue uh, and bring all those people who love and believe and trust in him to go and live with him forever and whilst he was whilst we're waiting whilst jesus followers were waiting for that to happen he gave them a job to do so he told them you must go out and tell everyone about this good news about God sending his son to save us from sin so we could be his friends and that was a job that he gave his followers to do and if we trust and believe in Jesus that's what our job is as well to tell everybody about Jesus so that they can believe too and that is and we have to do that whilst we're waiting for Jesus to come back. We don't know when Jesus is coming back, but we know that the Bible tells us that he is going to come back. And he's going to come back in an amazing, an amazing way. And it's going to be amazing. And you'll have no doubt that it's Jesus coming back. Okay. And that's really exciting because, because Jesus rose from the dead. It meant he defeated death. So not only did Jesus save us from sin, he also Uh, made a way for us to have life and life forever in Jesus coming back from the dead he defeated death and now death isn't the end okay now death isn't the end for all those who are friends with God and that's amazing news isn't it because we might not be alive when Jesus comes back he might come back whilst we're still alive but it might be um, many many years before he comes back but because Jesus was raised from the dead it means he can raise all those who have already died, who trust and believe in him and are friends with him. And that's great news, isn't it? Okay, that one day, if we are God's friends, we will be with him forever and have life forever and be with God in heaven forever. And that's amazing. Uh, And that is really, really exciting news. And that's really exciting uh, in this situation, isn't it? Okay, when we are sad or down, uh, when we can't go out and do the things we want to do, uh, we know that that's not going to be forever, do, don't we? Uh, that one day we'll be able to go out and be with our friends again. 
Uh, and so we know this world isn't forever as well. Uh, and we know one day we will be with Jesus forever. If we truly love him and trust in him and are his friends. So Jesus really did die, which means he really did come alive again and is alive now, which means he will one day come again and we can have life with him forever and take us to be with him in heaven. And that's really great news. And I hope that's really exciting news for all of you guys and all of us at this time of, of where it's really hard uh, to, uh, to keep going, isn't it? Uh, to keep doing our homework uh, when we're at home all the time. I hope that's really exciting news for us uh, as we are stuck at home. Well, I hope you all listened really well to that and found that really encouraging uh, at this moment in time. Um, and there's uh, crafts uh, and things attached to the email uh, that you should have received. Um, so have fun doing those uh, and have a really great week. And I'll see you next week. Bye.